Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut and edited novel video. Today I would like to create a short video about receiving and unpacking a SATA 7 kg um, dryer. It's not your conventional tumble dryer, it's a heat pump dryer. First of all, why a SATA and why heat pump dryer? Let's start with the heat pump. So a conventional tumble dryer not only creates a lot of steam in a room, it also consumes a lot of energy and worst of all, burn clothes. So clothes are getting damaged in the tumble dryer. And usually people use tumble dryer uh, when they cannot dry clothes outside. So there's a couple of technologies uh, past since and current one of the best technologies is a heat pump dryer. Uh, in a nutshell, I don't want to go into details, but it mostly works like um, air conditioner. Instead of blowing heat into clothes and um, kind of displacing water out, it actually works as air, air conditioner and it dehydrates the clothes. And in a nutshell, it's not how it works, but it's, it's a difference. So it's not heating up clothes as much and damaging them. Uh, the, also upside the water that evaporates from the clothes doesn't go into a room and make room um, very steamy and as a result could be even moldy it flushes down to um, drain if you if you plumb it so there's a plumbing kit like um, your uh, washing machine but also if you don't want to plumb it the good uh, feature is it has the container that water accumulates here and after every every dry or every second dry um, you need to empty it and it, it's very convenient because room stays not steamy and clothes are not getting damaged and it also uses probably quarter as much electricity so this is the reason why to buy a uh, heat pump dryer and not conventional tumble dryer so let's say uh, you decided to splash your cash on, tumble, on, on a heat pump dryer. Why a SATA? Look, um, there's no hide in it. It's a Chinese brand and it's also well supported in Australia. If you go into productreview.com.au, you will see there's a lot of satisfied customers with that particular product. I'm not saying it's the best on the market, but for what it costs, you cannot get, a, get better value for money product. And I'll show you in a second, but the way it's designed, it feels like it's a kind of copy of some early Samsung uh, heat pump dryers. The biggest difference between uh, big brands like Bosch and, and others, that they move a little bit step further and now they're creating even more energy efficient uh, uh, heat pump dryers. Like this one is a six star, which was amazing for three or four years ago. But now you've got dryers with six, seven, eight, and I think up to 10 energy stars. However, you put hefty price for that energy rating. And as long as clothes not damaged, as long as your room not getting steamy, the money you spend on appliance, you may not recoup through the cost of energy saving. And this is why I believe a SATA would be value for money I did not even start it, but according to other reviews, it's a great dryer. This video in particular, uh, unpacking and what you get as part of the package. Um, so what you get part of the package is a drainer, so you can uh, plumb it into your drainage system, as I've mentioned before. Um, and then basically makes it um, you know, almost maintenance free uh, per se. If you don't want to plumb it, uh, you need to empty draw uh, water from a drawer every time you finish a drying. And you also got a set of instructions. Pretty standard setup. Inside, I found um, dry is even smoother than uh, Samsung, and I had Samsung before. Um, pretty average setup, there's nothing fancy. Um, there's nothing to show here. Um, the surfaces are smooth and feels like it's uh, well finished. This is your typical uh, uh, filter so what it does uh, the clothes shedding cotton and other um, dust so it's a dust collector 
the seats here need to be emptied after every single operation but where is really resembles a Samsung you got another filter here and I'm not sure if it would be visible in a camera but if we open that filter that filter leads to what I call air conditioner unit so inside there I'll try to move and quickly show uh, inside there you will see it's almost like air conditioner and this is what dehydrates clothes right so inside there um, you need to clean probably at least once a month the bigger particles that escape uh, so the small particles that escape uh, linen filter will end up in what I call air conditioner or um, let's say radiator unit and this is where you need to remove this cover and clean it up but in a nutshell uh, it's my second heat pump dryer and uh, this one the way it's designed the way it's built it's not that much different from Samsung that I bought four years ago for $1,600. I don't want to say anything about price, but if you hunt for right price, you can get this one three times as cheap as a top um, rated um, heat pump dryer. It may be not as fancy in dials and, and other things, but a lot of function that you find in a, in a, in a fancy dryer would be here. So you've got all automated functions for what you're drying and, and, and different things. I don't want to go through it, but um, so far so good. I'm quite impressed. For what you pay, I'd, I'd say mid-range tumble dryer would cost same money as this Asata um, heat pump. And the benefits you will get from heat pump um, are phenomenal. So, so far so good. It's positive. It's rainy in Brisbane, Australia this week. So likely I will dry my clothes uh, at the end of the week and I'll probably create another video of uh, first use and experience. But I just wanted to show that if you care about your clothes, if you care about your room as uh, you don't want to create it humid and possibly uh, uh, moldy at the end, if you, create, if you care about, uh, uh, I don't know, just quality of, of the appliance, you can afford heat pump dryer uh, without splashing too much cash for it. Um, it costs as a mid-range normal tumble dryer and so far I'm quite impressed and highly recommended. Um, I will create another video after use. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video or any other videos in my channel, please um, hit the thumbs up, uh, bell notification icon and subscribe so you won't miss any of my other videos. Thank you for watching.